Hey guys, Tark with Cyclone FPV, and I'm actually doing a project for a buddy of mine named Ron. A uh, real good guy, and uh, he's got a pair of the DJI uh, goggles, HD goggles. He wants to put analog on it, and I know I've seen, there's been a few videos out there. Sorry, I'm winding stuff up here. Um, about adding, doing the conversion uh, into adding an analog uh, uh, module, diversity module. And I told him I'd help him with it, and then we worked on it last night, and things just didn't go as planned, and I couldn't understand why. So today, fresh-minded, I decided to go ahead and look at it again, and I realized that some of the things that were published online uh, really left out some details that if you didn't have um, the ability to test it all, you, you might be stuck, kind of like uh, I was yesterday. Um, so this time I decided to put everything away and just kind of do it on, uh, uh, sorry, I'm chasing solder around the table here, uh, just do it based on what we know. Now, unfortunately, I don't have the G DJ... DJI goggles here uh, only because he's out flying right now, but I am going to do the same it, it applies the same to any goggle as far as how to pull video out of the module and how to apply power and how to do the wiring The only difference is that um, I'm going to demo it on the fat sharks knowing that the DJI's will be back and we'll do part two of this video then Okay, but for right now, here's what we're working with. So I'm gonna do the the picture-in-picture picture. I need to adjust my camera here again this thing I've been knocking it around like crazy lately and let's try this now. Let's see if this will work. There we go all right, so here's the workbench. Here's the plate that we made using our Mark Forged um, uh, setup. So this is an Onyx setup right here. Uh, here is our diversity module. This is the uh, Furious FPV. Uh, and then these are my DJIs that are, sorry, my uh, Fat Sharks that I used to do the testing because it failed on the DJI initially. It failed on everything. And then I found out why. So here's the thing. Here's the most important stuff about this, right? And here's what I want you to remember. So let me get this off here. I got a little piece of uh, wire there. Okay, so when we're looking at the module and it's facing us, okay, with uh, antennas on the left, then if you turn it sideways, you're gonna see here where I've been doing some soldering work, pin one is five volt, uh, pin one is your positive, okay? Pin three is your ground, that's right here. All right, so pin one, pin three, and then count four, five, then pin six, okay? These two are gonna be your audio, we're not gonna mess with those, we are gonna work with pin six, right? And so here's where the big issue was. And so I grabbed an audio, of, I've, I've got multiple cables here to try with. This is the one we're gonna work with, right? And so, and we're also gonna need, you're gonna need a, a converter, a power converter to step down to five volts, right? Because this will only take a five volt input. So you cannot put more than that in there. Uh, so you need to make sure that that's what you're applying to the setup. All right, so there's a couple ways we can go about doing this. The, the, the first way and the most, uh, I guess the easiest way is going to be to start soldering uh, our cables here but because of the way this is going to sit and the way this has been designed which I think we'll work on a new design this was uh, something different but we've got to get the wire to go right in here and so to do that I'm actually going to have to feed this through and then the way they do it with DJI some of the guys I guess what they're doing depending on if you've opened the goggles or not um, the the uh, harness for the video is going to come out of here like this now there's a smaller video jack that we were using but for the sake of doing this video until he gets back here so I can measure the length. I'm gonna use this one, which is uh, this one, which is kind of large, and I'm gonna avoid putting all this in here because right now I'm just gonna show you how to do it and then you can work on the aesthetics. And when he gets here, we'll do part two and I'll do that as well, all right? So here's the main thing. Main thing right now is that we need to apply, um, we need to apply our, uh, we need to solder, sorry, our, our cables on here. And remember now, pin one is uh, at the bottom here, if you're looking at it, right, this is gonna be pin one, okay? So please just remember that. And if you're on your left, if you do it like I do, if you solder this way, then it's still right here on the bottom, all right? So we're gonna get to that real quick. And I'm trying some glasses out to see if I, if I, let me see if I get some light in here though. So hold on one second. Well, I guess that might work, I don't know. May have to put the goofy uh, nerd glasses on, but most important thing right now is A, let's make sure we get our solder. So sorry, if you guys haven't done this, I've already been working on this a little bit. So here's what I did different. Um, you can go ahead and take your pins. I know you only work a certain amount, but I am gonna dip them in the flux here and then I'm gonna burn it off. So let's just go ahead and start burning. Now you'll see a little bit of smoke come out probably. There it is, one, two, and then I'm gonna go to six, there. So these are tin now, right? And I know our wires are tin, but if you haven't done that yet, just please go ahead and tin, and I'll just go do mine again. So there we go, one, and there's this one here, okay? So I'm gonna get started with these first, right? So let me get my, uh, oh, and another thing, and I'm doing this just to show you, but I mean, I'm gonna have to take it all apart anyway. But just make sure that you, I would at least, um, go ahead and make sure you put your heat shrink on, okay? It's just a good practice. I mean, I just do it. And like I said, I'll have to take this off anyway when the goggles arrive, but I'm just gonna show you how this is gonna work. So we're gonna take 
uh, the positive, which is the five volt coming out of the converter here. And I may have to put my goggles on for this. I'm not sure yet, but let me just see. I want to make this look as good as I could. Uh, yeah, I'm going to use my magnifying glass. Okay, my glasses are great, but magnifying glass is going to be a ton better. Let's see if I can use this one. I don't know. Let me see how dorky is this. Yeah, that's pretty dorky. All right, I feel good. Okay, so let's do that. And there we go. We got some light now. Hopefully, I'm not blocking the camera here, but it won't take me very long. Let me see. This is still not the best magnifying way to do it right now, but I don't want to get in the way of the camera. So let's just see. Once I know I've got a good connection there, that's pretty solid. Now I'm going to go do the ground. And again, put your uh, heat shrink on. There you go. And there we go. So now we've got our power down. So just to look at this in stages, let's see what we got, right? So I've got a... Uh, AC to DC converter here. Man, I can't see anymore at all. I guess I'm just getting old. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, plug this in. And if you'll watch now, what you'll see here. Okay, we should start seeing power come on. And our regulator, I've got my power up to like 8 volts, 9 volts, but our regulator is keeping it down to 5. So we've got our power, so we know we're set there, right? All right, that's the easy part now. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the next step. Now, this is where things got a little confusing. So we've got our video cable here, and whatever ones you have, there are some that are flat ribbons uh, like this here, which I hate. Uh, these are really hard to work with uh, because there's very, it's very hard to get to the wire properly. And then there are some other ones, kind of like this one, but all the wires wrapped into one. This actually came off a AV cable, a cable with the uh, red, white, and yellow uh, on the outside, uh, the uh, female on the outside. But anyways, what we want to do is what we're looking for is right here. The video is transferred on this uh, ring right here. So if we counted one, two, three, four. Ring two, which is a second from the bottom, is going to be the one that we want. The weird part about this is that you'd think that the color would be yellow because online, and this is the other thing to note, not all wires are the same. So, uh, you know, on one, it could be a yellow. On the next one, it could be a green. On the next one, it could be a red. In this case, believe it or not, it's red, all right? So what we're gonna do, and I know this from testing it, but I'm gonna show you guys what I did, and this is what ended up taking most of the time, uh, was because of the way these are made, uh, there's no like, um, there's no 100% guarantee you're gonna grab the right one. So this is yellow, and then let me grab this one here. Just don't want to cut the wire itself okay that's white so i don't need that one and i know this already but i'm going to show you how we're going to test it it's real simple you're just going to do a continuity test and here's red okay now make sure to hold on to that ground right there all right okay so with that done we're going to go ahead and strip the red wire all right now what you want to do is you want to get your multimeter Put it on continuity to test your continuity, all right, like this. All right, tap them. Make sure, well, make sure we get a beat. Okay. There we go, that's our continuity. Then what we want to do is we want to go and hold our wire. Now, I know it's red this time, because I've already done this, but watch. That's on ring two. Ring one, I have nothing. Ring three, I have nothing. And ring four, I have nothing. So if we're saying ring one from the bottom, ring, one from the bottom, yeah, so ring two. Now that happens to be red. So contrary to what we would believe, which is that video should run on, usually video is yellow, because of the way that the goggle manufacturers have done their part, uh, video is actually gonna be on ring two, and it does not matter what color that is because the manufacturer of the wires have not done, um, it's not specific that way. So here goes. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna tin this up. Okay, and be careful because these wires here, the shielding is not made to really get hot. You can tell it'll start shrinking really quick. So the other thing now is that we still have to connect our ground. And I will tell you that um, that is probably the next problem that I saw was nothing uh, that anybody talked about was about touch uh, connecting the ground. 
And when you don't connect the ground, you don't get a very good signal. Well, you, don't, you, you usually will get a wobbly screen uh, that can't, doesn't look like it can be tuned in properly. So what I'm gonna do is, first thing I wanna do is I want to go ahead and put my heat shrink here. All right. And I'm gonna go ahead and strip down the uh, ground as well. Oh my gosh, everything's just beeping. And we're gonna tin that up too. Okay, too much noise. Holy moly. All right, there we go. And then let's get ready to tin it up. Make sure to protect your components by covering them. I'm just gonna put this little plastic shield over here in case I have any solder fall off. There's our ground tinned. Get a little bit more, there we go. All right, now, so I wanted to go ahead now and apply the, uh, the uh, video down. Okay, so let me go ahead and do that real quick. Get my tweezers. And that's probably a little too much wire there, so let me just kind of cut it back a little bit. All right. Remember, it's pin six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So right here. All right. So that's pin six, and that's good. That's on there. So the last thing is going to be the ground. And the ground, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually connect it to the ground over here. You can act. You can share these. Okay. Oh, that's better. All right, so let's do that. But I don't want to heat it up so much the other ground comes off, which actually might happen. I mean, I'm going to try not to, but could happen. So uh, in this case, um, I'm going to try to, realizing now that I'm not going to be able to block that. Um, you know what? That's not going to work. Let me see how I want to do this because I'm going to end up not being able to put that heat shrink down then. So I might just let me see if i can do this i'm going to take these off and maybe put them together and do the heat shrink a different way let me put them together first i'm going to make this one just a bit longer so i can wrap them up together there we go let me see if i can get these grounds together properly then i might be okay All right, so now what I'm gonna do is, I guess what, what I probably will do here, just to keep it, uh, keep it looking good, is I'm going to get some black, um, get a black heat shrink here real quick. I'm just gonna kinda get it to pass over here just a little bit, so if I can. That'll give me a little bit of coverage right there, which is good for me. I don't mind that at all. All right, there we go. Let me heat that up real quick. Go ahead and get this to shrink down because I'm going to be doing right near it. So, all right, now let's get this one to shrink up. We can hold our ground wires together nicely. All right, we'll go ahead and bring down our positive here. Perfect. All right, now with that in there. I'm going to go ahead now. I'm going to put this one here. Hopefully I have enough room 
table, drag it down. We shall see here shortly. Uh, I may not be able to, so let me just cut this down halfway. We'll make it work either way. All right. Actually, you know what? I'll just leave it off because it is going to be the ground. I'm not too worried about it. Let me go ahead and just do this one. We'll link these together like this. And now what we want to do is we want to get this soldered well to this pole here, which will be the third pin. Excellent. Okay, so we have our video. We have all our all of our components now together, and there's our wires here for this. Now you do not need. Uh, I mean, this cable is rather big. You do not need to have these wires present anymore. These two won't matter once you know you've got this done. So for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna. Well, actually, I'm not gonna do anything because I'll use this as a lesson plan for the students that we're teaching. But as you can see here now, what we've got is we've got our ground on three our positive, and then we've got our video on six, okay? And that's how it looks uh, to attach it, right? Now, you would do it different as far as because you have to get the wires in there. Here's our outgoing, or sorry, our incoming is going to be coming in here, and for that, we need the converter. However, when we're coming in from the battery, we all still need to battery uh, power up the goggles with full power. So what you will do here is you will break off one power to go to your um, uh, goggle feed, uh, which in my case is going to be the connection right here, right? And so to do something like that, let me see if I've got that cable laying around. Where, oh, where did it go? Hopefully I've got something here that can do it. Uh, it's over here. That's one side. Okay, so we know that we're going to be going into the goggles, right, uh, like this. Okay, that's our input, okay? And, but we also need to be able to go into this, which is why we have this cable here, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to split this cable and actually come out of it. And again, you'll be using it like this, so it would look something similar to this. So you'll have this wire feeding out of here. Uh, let me see how I want to make this work. You can either have it like this or what have you. This will be where your battery plugs in. And then you'll have this cable, which will be coming back out and looped right into your goggles. Since I don't have the DJIs here right now, I'm just going to kind of show you the same idea here. Same principle with this one, okay? So I've already labeled these because I needed to extend them. And I've already labeled this so we know that this cable with the red is our positive. And so that's how we're going to wire this up. So let me give you an idea of how this is going to work. Okay, our ground is the same, so that doesn't matter, but our positive is what's gonna to need to change because our positive is gonna get full signal from the LiPo, okay? And so um, when we have our plug that's gonna be plugged in, that our battery's gonna plug into, uh, that is this one. Oh, just put it down right here. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and strip this one back. And what you're gonna do here is pretty simple. Okay. So, all right. So now on your ground, all the grounds can be twisted together. They, they don't matter. So you could theoretically, I'm gonna cut this real quick just because we're not gonna be using it right now, like that. So theoretically, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this ground and this ground We're going to tin both of them, so let me do that real quick. Oh, come on, I just stand up a minute. Fine, I'll just hold it. All right, so let's tin it real quick. Knowing that we're not going to use that much wider, okay? So that's one. And then we're going to take the next one, tin it. There's still some solder left on the iron here, so I'll just use that. All right. Now, we also finally have our last piece. So this is our, this is our uh, output. Okay, so we're going to put these two 
and we're going to connect them to our input, which is right here. So I need to tin this ground wire as well. is. I let me clean this tip off. It looks like crap. All right. So now to make this work, we want to get our grounds together. And to do that, I may get the helping hands for this. Let me see. Yeah, I'll probably do that just to keep it clean. Okay, so let's move this out of the way. Let's get our helping hands here. Tighten this down. Okay, so I'm going to put our input on this side, our incoming connection. And then I'm going to take one here. Uh, I have no. Get a heat shrink. So these two wires will go together, okay? Because they both can share the same ground that's coming from the battery itself, all right? Heat shrink here. Get it down the line as far as I can get it. I don't know if that may be, the heat shrink might be too long. No, there we go. Okay, and now I'm just gonna go ahead and heat shrink the wires together. So here it goes. I want to get them lined up as close as I can to even. All right, so first I'm going to do this one. There we go. I'm going to bring the small cable in. There we go. Okay, now I'll bring the shielding over, the heat shrink over, and we'll hold it just like that, okay? So while that's being done, we know that we're gonna have to do the same with the positive as far as giving power to both. So we need to link both of these together. So again, we're gonna, we're gonna tin it up. Okay, and we're gonna take the positive from here. Actually, I'm going to tin it first. That way, when I cut it, I don't have a bunch of little metal strands everywhere. All right, so let's get ready to tin this up, too. Okay. Now we're going to pretty much do the same thing. Get ourselves some uh, heat shrink. Find one that I think will work. <laughs> so this might be too small. Alright. So again, we're going to cut this so that we can pass it over. There we go. Just slide this on the wire. Let's do it like that. I think that might be easier. I don't know. There we go. Okay, so kind of get them both even, just like that. And what you'll end up doing basically is you'll end up soldering one portion of this right to the back end of this wire 
while the other portion can be soldered to the front end of the other wire. Now I need to tin that other wire up real quick. I just realized I hadn't done that yet. So let me do that. Right here. Okay, and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the front end of this wire and we're gonna tin these together or solder them together. Now that, that could probably be cut just a little bit. Let me cut this just a bit of it off and I don't have to, there we go. So we're gonna solder this portion here. And what that does is basically allow you to solder the wire without the other piece coming off when it heats up, okay? So we're just gonna solder these together here. All right, all right. And now with the tweezers, we're gonna bring this wire back out. Just like that. And we could kind of touch it to another area of this wire. So hopefully we can leave the other wire intact when this solder heats up. Okay, there we go. And again, we'll just slide our heat shrink tubing over like that. And get them both kind of well shielded from each other. And there we go, all right. Okay, now that, ah, that takes care of this. The table gets a little messy after all this, but we should have a pretty solid connection here. Okay, so now what we've got is the following. We know that we can now bring in our power from our LiPo, like we've normally been doing, right? And what's gonna happen is it's gonna break off to here, and here's, the, here's a LiPo, okay? And here is the set of goggles right here. Now I've taken my module out so that we can make sure that when we do get video, we know 100% that it's from here. So here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna plug this into here. Now, if this is done correctly, and let's hope it is, when I plug in this battery, my goggles should come on. And they are on, okay? So I can see my light on here. And now look, my transmitter's on also. I mean, my sorry, my uh, diversity module's on. So now when I look in my goggles, and I know you guys won't be able to see this, but when I look in there, I've got a blank screen, okay? So what I wanna do now is I wanna go ahead and plug in my uh, video cable. And now, if you guys can see that, I think you can see it right here, right? Let me see if I can zoom in. You can see the snow, I guess you can try to. That's what you're seeing is that gray and blah, 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 that's all the snow, right? Now, here's the cool part. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn on a quad. This is one of our new mini quads, or what do you call the, I refuse to say the word, but this is a concept drawing, or not concept drawing, oh my God, I'm so messed up right now with these, all this work. Uh, so this is one of the, this is actually carbon fiber. It's probably the thinnest carbon fiber I've ever cut. Um, and uh, this is a super light, uh, what turned out to be a 95 millimeter, and it's actually getting cut down to 75, and it's at 95, it weighs as much as the 75, so at 75, I'll be curious to see. Super light and very durable um, carbon fiber design, uh, fully ready to go. All right, but anyways, that's beside the point. I'm gonna plug in the battery, and we're gonna see the video come up as best as we can. Now, this could cut our video out. That's my only concern, because sometimes this will interfere, but I am on R1 here, so hopefully we will bypass that, so here goes. All right, now, it uh, looks like our video is still rolling perhaps a little bit. So what we want to do now is we want to see how our video looks. And I wish I could show you guys. I'm going to try to zoom in here. Okay. And, yeah, there's not going to be a way for you to see, I guess. Uh, but you'll have to trust me. The, the video, I'm going to move the camera around. All right, so now I'm, you can see it changing here. Let me see if I can get a good picture or something. Uh... No, I guess not. All I was hoping. I don't know if I can put like a magnify on this or what. Let me see. See if you can see this. Let's see what happens. Sorry, I know this is totally screwed up now because I'm moving everything. Let's see what you can see. Is there anything different? Well, yeah, I guess you could see it now. I mean, I'm moving. There's my, you should probably see my ugly face here in just a second. Yep, that's me. Uh, okay. So anyways, uh, as you can see though, there's no 
snow on it. This is actually a good picture from the uh, camera. Oh, there, that's, um, that's the soldering machine that I use. So let me show you if you can see that real quick. And I wish I had better video to show you. That's an XT60 plug that's on the table. Um, so hopefully that helps you kind of get an idea. I was, I was really hoping I could show you this and now I just somehow clicked the button. <laughs> Sorry, this has been a real um, joke here. Uh, but anyways, okay, so taking this off, I gotta put it back on the channel here. I just got off the channel that we were on. Let me go back to R1. So there's R1 and again, you won't be able to see much, I guess, but you'll have to just trust me on it. So the picture's clear. Um, let me see. Oh yeah, it's, it's perfectly clear. I just wish there was a way to show y'all. So anyways, this is how I do it. I'm still gonna keep trying to do this method, hold on. Let me see, can we make this work? Is it possible? No. Damn it. Come on, talk to me. All right, now let me see the camera. Oh yeah, I mean, you could see there. I'm moving it around there. I guess it's about as good as you're gonna see it using a magnifying glass to show you. Uh, that's my computer screen right there. I think you'll probably see my, there's me. Oh, that's my ugly face. I think I gotta, and there's my soldering machine. And equipment okay so hopefully you can see that uh, but anyways it is working well uh, okay so let me get off of that now so let's let's do this there all right sorry about that I'm sitting here goofing around and it's uh, let's turn the lights back on there we go okay so that's how it works okay guys so we've got our and and, and, and it actually works very well uh, but you have to make sure of a few things and one of the things you have to make sure of is uh, let me see if I can not zoom in on this table and give you guys back this view that we're on all right, sorry yeah. Okay. So looking at this, looking at the setup, if I can clean up a little bit, we'll go over it. And I'm very sorry that this is kind of a hodgepodge of crap, but it's the best I could do until the DJI goggles get back here. Um, but looking back over this, oh man, what a mess. Okay. Looking back over this, remember, uh, pin one, you're going to put your five volt converter on. Okay. Uh, pin three, that's your ground, which you are going to share between your video and you're going to share it from your five volt. Then you've got your pin six, which is going to be your video, which is actually um, ring number two from the bottom. One, two, three, four. It'll be ring number two. And then it all plugs into your goggles. Now our goggles get powered because we've got our LiPo here. And we've got um, our power for the goggles coming in before it hits the five volt right here. Okay. And then we've got our five volt taking power to our diversity. Now, you will see all of this come together nicely with the DJI setup when it gets here. Okay. Until then... Um, I'm going to try to draw a diagram for you guys that hopefully will make this easier, but uh, this, it works very well. And there's uh, several, uh, several different wire combination or uh, plugs that you can use. This just happened to be one of the ones that I used and it worked out real well. I hope that helps. I'm sorry if that didn't. I think once the whole video is done, it will, but I'm still going to put this up there without the finished product because at least you can kind of see uh, how to do it without having to open the goggles up on the DJI side. Um, and that's something that I definitely wanted to make sure we could avoid. And thanks to some help, we got that done, okay? So there you go, that's it. <sighs> I don't know if any of that made sense, but I, it did to me, okay? I spent, I spent the night trying to make sure we had the wiring right. Uh, initially, we could not get it to work. One of the reasons was because the ground had to be attached from the video. Um, and there was loose documentation on it, so I figured I'd just spend the night trying it. We finally got it this morning, okay? So there it is, there's your setup. Uh, again, you're gonna need your audio uh, cable, you're gonna need your uh, battery input cable, your battery output cable, and that will loop back in, coming out of the goggles and blah, blah, blah. Okay, if you have any questions, hit me up at targetcyclonefpv.com. Wait for video two to come out though. I promise you it'll be done today, and then I'll put all of this together, okay? And then uh, please follow us uh, on Facebook, it should be on the top there. Yep, and then uh, subscribe to us below. Always appreciate it, guys. And I don't have these goggles, so like this came from a, a friend of mine who's, who also flies. If you have anything that you have a question about, let me know. I'll get the equipment in here and we'll do it. I don't have to be using it or having an inventory to help you guys out, okay? Uh, I hope my finger heals. This thing is carbon fiber cut. Uh, other than that, guys, Christmas is around the corner. God bless. Spend time with your family, guys. I'm going to tell you, and I'm not making it your problem. It's the first year I won't see my kids, and I'm, I'm very angry about it. But I will tell you guys what. Uh, it makes me happy to know that you guys at least be with your family. I'll see my kids afterwards. Uh, and... Uh, and uh, Make sure to spend time with them. Put the drones down and go spend some time. You never know how much time you got left, okay? God bless, guys. We'll see you soon. Bye.